All right, I got to show you my little invention here for the Model A. On the Model A, they got a uh, the key switch has this big long steel cable, and it's got like a piece that threads down in there. And this this is threaded, and there's just like a ball socket down in there, so it must have just like a a tip. You thread it in there, it just pushes in on that thing. So anyhow, what I did is I took a piece of a three sixteenths brake line fed a wire up through the thing and uh, soldered a ball on the end of it. I took some emery and emery the thing and then I took this uh, threaded bushing here and I stuck a uh, wire nut down in there and drilled it drilled a 3 16 hole and I put these carburetor spring on there What we got is that. Got a spring on that little thing there. She goes right down in there like that, falls in that little ball. Thread that in. And you got a wire. What do you think of that? That's ingenuity now. Only in America. Alright, we're gonna crank the old Model A up. Been a while on it. I uh, had to take flange was rusted off the exhaust so I took and cut one off a Chevy pipe and brazed it on there. I don't have a, uh, I didn't have an accelerator rod, so I had to take and bend something up just to make it temporarily. Got the choke all hooked up. I put this lawnmower tank on here just for something to get it running. Got all the electrical wired in, finished up. And, uh, bought me a battery, six volt battery. Nobody's just got six volt batteries laying around. I'll tell you what, a couple things. One, you can't just find it at your local parts store. I went to this uh, parts store that's been in, around town for years, an old timer place, and a buddy of mine worked there and he got me a good deal. I think it was uh, $114 and he got it for me for 80 bucks. So, gotta buy six volt batteries. Keep that in mind, they're expensive. But anyhow, we crank this up. I I know that Matt over there at Chevy Holic, he can't uh, get any Model A stuff over there on uh, 63 and Palace Station, so I'm gonna do this for him because I know he's needing some Model A fix since he's working on his Model A. So anyhow, anyhow, I can see the carburetor looks like it's Looks like it's flooding a little bit. Whatever. I guess maybe that's typical anyhow. So anyhow, we'll turn the key on. Fancy spark a little out. I can get to it fast enough. And we'll give it a little throttle up. Hard to spark back. Alright. I think she's flooding pretty good on us. I think it's a little easier to do when you're sitting inside the thing. I could have gave it a little throttle and probably straightened out that flooding in the carburetor. Throttle it down a little bit. I don't have a rod for the advanced retard on the spark, so I gotta do it by hand. There you go. After running. That's about it. I want to add a little.
little bit more to it. I uh, after that carburetor wasn't flooding on the thing, it really starts easy. I'll show you. I just turn the key on. I guess there must have been a little trash in the carburetor or whatever I'm setting, but I mean this thing cranks and starts a lot easier than the other one even. Just need to get me an advanced rod and a throttle rod for it and be set. Alright, I guess that's it.